Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey Romney. I'm over career readiness with Utah 4-H. And today I'm excited to have another 4-H interviews with pros video. Um, tonight we have joining us Ricky Jennings. She's a BSN, RN, CPN, and is currently the chief nursing informatics officer at Zebra Technologies, where she's responsible for combining her knowledge of patient care, informatics concepts, and change of management to effectively address the information and knowledge needs of healthcare professionals and patients to promote efficient use of IT in clinical settings. She also serves as a strategic liaison for health IT efforts representing nursing and clinical needs. And she was also recently ranked as one of the top women in healthcare in Chicago, Illinois. Interviewing Ricky tonight, we have Sarah Everett. She's a team leader from San Pete County. In 4-H, she's involved in leadership, horse, livestock, and companion animals. She's also the vice president of her team council and Southern Region Ambassador, and also as a state delegate. So I'm gonna turn the time over to Sarah. Thank you so much, Kelsey. How are you doing tonight, Ricky? I'm doing well, Sarah. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Um, my first question for you is, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? And can you describe a typical day in your job as a registered nurse and a typical day for others in this career? Absolutely. So I have been a nurse now for over 10 years. And I am really excited to be here tonight to talk about it. I um, absolutely love what I do. In the United States, there are over 4 million registered nurses. And what the, the best part about being a nurse is there's so much you can do with it. Um, when you're going to school to be a nurse, people tell you that, but you aren't really sure, like, what does that really mean? Where could I work? Um, but nurses work in all kinds of places. They work in hospitals and doctor's office, some of those more typical places you think of. But nurses also work in schools and in a legal system. And in particular for myself, I actually work in technology. So I'm what you call a nurse informaticist. Nurse informaticist, um, in a simple way, help be translator between clinicians. So think nurses and technology, so IT departments. We help understand what nurses need to give better care to their patients and then work with technology and IT to make sure that they have what they need So what, and then bring that back to them. So help them get trained on it and understand how they're using it and how it's making their day better. Like I said, I'm a nurse who works in technology. I work for a technology company. So I work um, with our customers as they're bringing in technology, helping them understand how it will impact how their staff work every day. Um, this makes it, my days a little bit different than what you might think of for a nurse. Um, rather than working with patients every day, I'm working with nurses. I'm right now, like a lot of folks, I'm working from home, from just home. as I just started started my started my meeting, meeting you over Zoom. I do, I, right now I do that, but typically if, uh, before this, I would be traveling. I do a lot of travel. I travel across the country and go to different hospitals and, and meet with different nurses and understand um, what they, knew, they do. Um, so that's been a really exciting thing. That's awesome. Um, can you give me an example of some of the technologies that you work with um, to help nurses understand? Sure. So nurses, as you might think of them, care for patients. They, they work with doctors and other specialists. So think about um, different therapists. There are respiratory therapists and there are physical therapists. And nurses are really in charge of making sure that everybody is exactly where they need to be at the right time, that the patient um, is getting better. Um, with that, that means they're really responsible for a lot of communication. And the technology I work with um, helps it keep people safe by uh, providing phones so that nurses can connect with other um, people on what we would call the care team, those other doctors and um, specialists. And then also when you're a nurse, you're responsible for giving the patient medication and uh, acting on those orders the doctors put in. So what do you need to do to get the patient to make in a hospital, be coming in and staying in a hospital and getting them home back to their families? Um, the technology I, I use are help with medication administration is what we call it, so giving patients medication. And um, if you've ever been a patient in hospital and seen a wristband 
um, that has your name on it and a barcode on it. Um, we help with the scanners that scan that wristband. We make those wristbands so that when a nurse gives a medicine or does some type of procedure, there's an extra double check that it's the right patient and the right medication and the right time and that it all gets um, documented so that the next caregiver, whether it's a nurse or a doctor, knows exactly what happened. That's really cool. Thank you. Um, what makes you excited about your job? That's a great question. I absolutely love what I do. I love being a nurse. I shared that earlier. Um, I've loved every single day of being a nurse, both in patient care and now working with other nurses to help make their days just a little bit easier. So what I love about this job is the ability to work with so many nurses. I, I said before, before the days of always being on Zoom, but even in the days of being on Zoom, um, I would be out traveling and going to different hospitals. Now I'm staying home and working with those hospitals and getting to learn so much about nursing needs everywhere across the country and understanding that things are different in different areas and then seeing how technology is needed both today and then going forward in the future because the world is changing. That's really cool. Um, how many nurses do you think you have met with over the past year? I don't know if I can even think of that number. Um, probably more than I can count. And the reason that is, is because um, being out here um, working for a technology company, I get to go to a lot of conferences where there are thousands of nurses. Actually, last year I went to, well, I've been to a conference where there was over 10,000 nurses at one conference. So um, I've been fortunate and I can, I've probably met with more nurses than I can count. But what's really exciting when you meet a nurse, I would encourage anybody. And next time you, if you meet a nurse, ask them what kind of nursing they do, as well as how did they get to where they are today? Because I can tell you that everybody's story is probably a little bit different. That's really cool. It's very impressive that you've met with so many nurses as well. Um, thinking back, did you notice any interests that you had in your youth that aligned with your current career? You know, I, I think that's a really funny question, and I, I probably have to think about it a minute. I didn't always know I wanted to be a nurse. I will admit that. Um, I probably my whole life always thought I wanted to be a teacher. And then it wasn't until I was getting ready to go to college and looking at majors and, and schools and really started to think about things that excited me. I loved science. And I always found myself um, growing up very interested in both learning from other nurses we knew both in our family or the parents of friends. Like I loved hearing their stories about what they did at work every day or um things they saw. Some of them were nurses in an emergency room, and it just felt like every day was so different and exciting, and they were saving people's lives. So um, it was then that I knew I wanted to be that person. I wanted to be that nurse that you, uh, that you called when, you know, you had somebody in your family who was sick, or um, if you were at a sports game and someone got hurt, everyone looked around and said, is there a doctor or a nurse here? I wanted to be that person you called when you needed something. And so uh, I think despite the fact growing up, I thought maybe I wanted to be a teacher. What I want is about being a teacher is I loved kids. So when I gave patient care, I was a pediatric nurse. I worked with kids. So it all kind of fell into place, but I think it was that general curiosity of um, other nurses I knew, uh, what they did, and then that desire to be there to help people when they needed it led me right into nursing. Okay, I think we lost Sarah on a technical difficulty, so I'm going to ask you the next question until she jumps back on. Um, okay. So the next, thanks for going with the flow with us on this one. Um, so can you tell us what type of education and training prepared you for this career? Sure. So I went to undergrad in nursing. So the Kelsey rattled off some letters when we got started, and it was a BSN, so a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. There are several different nursing degrees you could get in different programs that are right um, for you. There's Associates in Nursing, there's Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, there's Master's in Nursing, um, and then there's Doctorate in Nursing Practice. I have a Bachelor's in Science in Nursing um, that led me into my career, and then once you, you get a, a 
um, your degree in nursing, you have to take a licensure exam, and that's where you get those RN letters behind your name. That's so cool. Sorry, I lost internet connection for a second. But I'm we back have now. always been there. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Um, my next question for you is what is the average pay for a person in the field in this field of career? So I did some research about the average salary for nursing um, in the state of Utah. So Kelsey had shared earlier uh, that I'm from Chicago. I live in Illinois. So I wanted to do some research about different um, pay varies by where you live. Um, and I found that the average salary in the state of Utah is I think about 28, it starts at about $28 per hour. So that equates to about $60,000 a year from what I saw in my research. That's very cool. Um, what type of skills are necessary for succeeding in this career? Oh, for being a nurse, you have to love what you do. I think that's true in any career, really, when you think about it. It's so important to have a passion for what you're doing, and that makes um, and not feel like work and you want to do it. Um, I think there's so many. I think that's probably the most important part to be to succeed uh, in your career think in nursing because there are so many things you can do as a nurse. Um, it's important to be curious. Um, I think that helps in particular patient care. You always want to be curious about your patients and analyzing what's going on. And then in terms of being successful in your nursing career, stay curious with other nurses, understand where they've been, what kind of jobs they've had, and you just never know um, where you might find yourself, whether that's um, in the hospital where you could be in the emergency room or the OR or caring for patients who are very, very sick in an ICU or uh, perhaps caring for pa patients in their home and being a nurse who goes to people's houses to care for them. There's really, the options are limitless. Um, that's a really cool answer. What are some of the biggest challenges you face in your job? Hmm, great question. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit just about challenges nurses face in general. Um, caring for other people is a challenging job um, because it's a lot of responsibility. Really, people's lives are in your hands and the care team's hands. So that um, being aware and watching for those little things that can change with patients and staying in tune with those. Um, and then um, continuing to learn and develop and change uh, just the entire world and no matter what job you're doing, you have to continue to learn and be educated on what's coming next or even uh, really contribute to that share. What are you doing in the job you're doing that will help the next generation um, do that job as well. That's really amazing. Um, what do you think is the most valuable reward you've reaped from this particular job? That's probably the hardest question to answer. Um, being a nurse is incredibly rewarding. You almost never forget a patient or something that they've taught you. Um, and in my job now where I'm working with nurses, I rarely forget a, a, an opportunity where I've met with a nurse or understand, you know, understood how they work or how technology could make it better for them. Um, and that you carry that with you. I think it's why I love working with technology. So getting to what I do and what makes it rewarding for me is I have such respect for nurses and clinicians who care for patients and know how challenging of a job that is to do so that if I can be a voice for them in the technology world so that when technologies are developed to, that, to make their job easier, they really do just that. It's something that helps them uh, make their day just a little bit easier. So that's a pretty rewarding for me to get to be able to do that here. That's really, really amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, what is some advice that you would have for someone who's considering a, a career, um, your career? If I, if I met with somebody who is considering being a nurse, I would say, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It is the best career you can choose to do. It can take you anywhere around the world. And it is a skill set that you will use 
throughout your entire life and everything you do from your professional life to what you do in your personal life. Um, having a, a background in medicine is invaluable. So um, I admittedly, any chance somebody gets <laughs> gives me to tell somebody to be a, nurse, be a nurse or explore the sciences, whether it's in nursing or um, being a doctor or any type of healthcare provider, absolutely do it. Um, another follow-up question to that, um, someone who's mm -hmm. in college to become a nurse, I've, that's a pretty rigorous program from what I've heard. Do you have any advice for them? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Uh, it, it, you're right, Sarah. Um, going to college, going to school to be a nurse is really challenging. Uh, there's a lot to learn and there are plenty of days where you just think, oh my goodness, uh, can I do this? <laughs> am, I, am I really meant to be a nurse? And I can tell you, if you've got yourself there, you absolutely have what it takes to be a nurse. So keep going, lean on other nurses, reach out to somebody who is a nurse. They will give you that courage and they will uh, help you however best they can with your studies because it is worth it in the end. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for having this interview with me. And those are all my questions. I turn the time back over to you, Kelsey. Okay, perfect. Thank you both so much for your time. I appreciate it. You did a great job, Sarah. And thank you so much, Ricky, for all your knowledge and wisdom um, about that profession, about nursing. So thank you so much. Um, and as always, it will drop a, um, we have our comment section below. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them there and we will do our best to answer them and get back with you. And then we will also put a link to a survey in the chat as well. And if you can fill that out, it's one to two minutes long and we'll select a random winner to win an Amazon gift card. So if you have time, it would be great to let us know how we're doing. And then um, lastly, I wanna mention 4-H University registration is still open. 4-H University is happening on November 21st. It's an hour long and it will be uh, on from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. So it's just an hour on Zoom, but it's a hands-on activity. If you haven't seen our advertisement for it yet, scroll down on our Facebook page and you can check it out. We have four activities that you can choose from. They are aviation, animal science, outdoor product design and development, and small business development and you can choose an activity they're all hands-on and they're taught by utah state university instructors we'll mail a kit that goes with each activity straight to your door and you can and prices range from zero to 56 dollars. so feel free to check that out and if you have any questions about that event as well please let us know the registration is only open for 16 more days it closes on october 31st so Make sure you check that out. And again, thank you so much for watching this. And thank you, Ricky and Sarah. We really appreciate your time. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Ricky. Have a nice one.